everyone and welcome back to my channel today I am building a single family like a single person home um, it can be turned into a single family home because that little section in the front it's actually a garage um, so yeah this is supposed to be another budget friendly home um, but I did go a little bit overboard again um, but not by so much it's only like 43,000 so it's not that bad and you know I you see me like checking the you know the little money thing there <laughs> um, but anyways uh, this is a one bedroom home and from the website where I got the layout from I it actually says it's like perfect for um, maybe like an older sim like a grandma or a grandpa or uh, you know a single sim um, or any yeah it's like a it can be turned into a two-bedroom um, like I said that that area where I'm working on right now it's actually a garage um, but you can definitely change it uh, the only thing that I put in there is the laundry room if you have the laundry stuff back so yeah uh, I'm so excited for this build actually uh, I feel like I'm getting a good like hang of of the roofs like roofing so yeah I'm trying to make them so surreal like so real to the picture and like I said before I will show you on my Instagram if you want to download this house it is available now in the gallery uh, under the name uh, bubbly simmy and my Instagram is bubby simmy so yeah um, I wanted to do it's kind of like a I don't want to say like it's, yeah it's like a classic like like American traditional home um, you see you have like the little front porch there uh, the little front porch area so just trying to get all everything done like I said I'm I've been like improving my roofing skills so yeah just like, watching a lot of builds and practicing watching myself build has actually been good practice because um, I feel like I give myself some tips like okay for next time do this instead you know but yeah and I was trying to find a car but I couldn't find a car <laughs> like I think the people that download the cars are like mod cars but because I've seen some builds on the gallery with like the mod like cars um, but I don't I didn't have that so I I put that car there for now I do take it out uh, at the end um, so yeah anyway that front area can actually be like a greenhouse because the backyard is not too big and you can do some planting in the front yard but if you want to turn that into a greenhouse and put like the green I mean the green the the, the ceiling the glass ceiling walls you can go ahead and do that you can pretty much do whatever you want it's a pretty decent sized house and it's in a pretty decent like a, not a big lot but like a normal size lot so yeah um i will be um uploading i finally got the uploading um rhythm like i mean the build rhythm sorry <laughs> um up um i think yeah i'm finally got used to like how i'm gonna build everything so just making the little driveway here I'm really sad that we can't manipulate like the ground like in the sims 3 oh i don't know if you guys remember from last time but the simmer i was talking about um his name is builds by josh he actually builds a lot of homes in the sims 3 and he does them so well and i've never played the same the sims 3 so i don't really know except for on ps4 but i don't really know like how it works i don't know if it looks a lot more complicated than the sims 4 i feel like i feel like in the sims 4 it's a lot of like plug and play where you just pick what you want and do like the layouts and the roofing but i've seen some really really interesting roofs on instagram and stuff um but yeah i feel like it's so much easier than sims 3 i don't know if you all have played sims 3 before let me know or sims 2 i've never really got into it until sims 4 and i do want to buy it but like i said i have to upgrade my pc 
once that's upgraded, I'll probably try Sims 3 as well because I like that you can manipulate or like, not manipulate, but like change the earth. I don't know if that makes sense. Like make hillside, like make hillside homes. Like I want to make some homes where it's like, it's a three story, no, two story house, but the basement's like a living, live, live in, live in area. <laughs> Sorry. And it's because it's on a hillside. So like the third floor, like the basement, it's not really a basement. It's like a, you know, like a, like a accessible floor, which we can't, I mean, I guess we can kind of do it, but not really, not like I want to do it. So there's so many houses that I want to build that are like that, but I can't in The Sims 4 right now. I kind of wish we had that. That would be cool. So anyway, I just finished the kitchen there. It's in the back and then the dining room area is right there. So it's a pretty, like, it's very open. I feel like I'm doing a lot of open house plans. Maybe I'll change it up a bit and do like a little bit of a close area. Um, however, my personal preference, preference I do like open house, like open plans. Um, however, I did see like, I think it was like a meme or, or something. It was something that um, they were like, well, I don't know why people like open house plans. Like, you're gonna be so nosy, noisy while you're watching TV and people in the kitchen are cooking and stuff, but I like it. So <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, I'm just trying to pick out a rug. I think I ended up with the jungle pack rug. I like, I wanted to make it a little bit colorful. I wanted to add more color. I still always struggle with the wallpaper. I feel like all the wallpaper we have is kind of bland. <laughs> so I'd rather make the furniture pop out a little bit more. So yeah, this is the master bedroom right here. Like I said, currently right now it is a one bedroom. However, you can change it into a two-bedroom. And if I sound really tired, it's because I had to babysit uh, a kid from my old job to last night, and he didn't really sleep that well, so I didn't really sleep that well, so I'm kind of tired. But I wanted to get this recording out so that I can have these videos ready and uploaded because I actually will be um, taking care of him on Thursday and my video goes up on Thursday. So I wanted to make sure that I have this recorded and set and done so that I can focus on my other builds and get those out for you all. So the next build I'm working on, it's actually a really big house. Like it's ginormo it's not gonna be a budget house although I said I wanted to do a budget house it's not gonna be one because I saw the picture and I fell in love with the outside and I wanted to challenge myself and see if I can do it and I can and I'm doing it however I feel like it's going to be a long build so I wanted to know if you think I should split it up I don't know you cannot give me your feedback I feel like splitting it up right now I did do part, I did the, the, I did the outside, the layout of the outside. I feel like the house is a little bit too big, so I might maybe shrink it down a bit. I'm not sure. Or maybe, I feel like I just don't like a lot of empty spaces and I feel like that house has a lot of empty spaces. So I'm not really sure uh, if I'm going to move it to a different lot and kind of like size it down a bit. Um, I'll work on that today but I wanted to know if you all think I should split it up and do like the layout for the first video and then like do like the wallpaper and well I kind of started on the wallpaper but like do like the you know adding the furniture and you know I did the kitchen already but like adding the furniture in the rooms and the game room and the media center and all that stuff that I'm sure it's gonna take a while because I have to like like I said I want to fill in the empty spaces so this is where I realized that I had to be in budget <laughs> and so I started deleting a bunch of stuff that's why I deleted the car but it was only like a $47 car <laughs> it's kind of weird but yeah I wanted to be as low cost as possible because I feel like this is a perfect home 
for a single sim like a starter home because it's so small it's like quaint and cozy and very homey and i decided it was gonna be a cat a cat home and i forgot that and when i tested all the stuff out in live mode all a bunch of cats <laughs> were like in the house and i was like why are there's a bunch of cats in here and i realized that i put the little treat for the cats to come in um so yeah i think i think you'll see some cats in the pictures the screenshots that i took at the end um i don't remember but yeah um so yeah i'm just gonna work on the outside this has like i said um i will put post a picture up on my Instagram and it has a lot of like plants I love that the greenery I'm trying to get more into greenery usually before when I would build I would kind of leave that out like last minute and I'll be so tired but I feel like because there's a rhythm I'm trying to put a lot of more greenery and one of my houses on my videos <laughs> has a lot of greenery and I focus on the outside more um but yeah I'm just gonna <coughs> oh excuse me <laughs> um don't realize how much you talk <laughs> but yeah so just doing the little greenery here um uh just adding some plants I really love the I think it's like the romantic garden stuff pack it's like or is it the backyard? It's one of those that has like a bunch of flowers. I think it is the garden, the romantic garden stuff pack. The house of flowers. I really like that. Um, if you all are thinking of getting the Sims and you want to get like a built like a like a pack, I know there's a sale right now. Um, I think it was like 65% off, which is actually really good. That means I think I'm I'm not sure. That means that some of the packs will actually be like four bucks. I remember I bought one, one pack for four dollars one time. Um, but yeah, it's been a busy week. I weekend. I haven't had a chance to go on EA uh, recently. Um, but yeah, I know that they were on sale recently. Um, so if you want to like get it now, right now it's like the best time because you know, I think like four bucks for. Uh, like a add-on for one of the ten one ten dollar ones, which is pretty good because I mean ten bucks four dollars because you, you normally they're ten bucks. So anyway, sorry, I'm trying to multitask and I can't hear the other video. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm just adding like the finishing touches here. I'm just putting the stairs and um, all like the outside to. I didn't. Oh, sorry. I just cut myself off. I did not add like a grill or anything, but back there you can definitely add something. If you download this, um, like I said, it's in the gallery right now, or it will be when this video is out under Bubbly Simi. Um, but yeah, once you get it, you can definitely add more stuff in the back if you have more money to do so. And yeah, if you like this video, please click the subscribe button and the little bell. Also, thumbs up for this video and um again download it. it's up on the gallery right now uh, thank you all for watching and have a great day bye